Staples. Today is Wednesday, December 16th, 2015. I'm Steve Wachowski. Just like last week, this week's show is entirely student produced as we head into the second of our trifecta of student produced shows. This week's show, produced by Justin Schwabel and me, is a special sports edition of Good Morning Staples. But first, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, a few announcements from the desk of superfans. Congratulations to Hannah DeBalzi on winning Blue Streak Root and Report Female Athlete of the Year. She also just ran in the high school nationals in San Diego, where she finished 12th in the United States. She's one of very few athletes that have had the honor of qualifying to run in nationals three straight years. Best of luck at Stanford next year, Hannah. Up next, Jack Caldwell talked with a few key players on our hockey team about this upcoming season and the outdoor game at Longshore tonight. Let's take a look. Good morning Staples, I'm Jack Caldwell and over the week I sat down with a couple of hockey players on the Staples varsity hockey team to talk about this upcoming season and the game at Longshore which will be tonight at 6 p.m. Let's take a look. First I talked with Sam New. Um, I'm Sam New, uh, I play right wing. Sam, how did the team do last year? Last year we went 12-10, and 10, uh, lost in the state quarterfinal game to a pretty strong team and just didn't make FCX but you know, this year we're really hoping to get back at that and try and get back in that tournament. What are some goals for the team this year? Um, for the team, it's to win the state championship this year. We have four seniors that have been here for a while, and I think they know what it takes by now to win it. Tell us about the big outdoor game at Longshore tonight. The Longshore game, it's, it's always a fun game to play, and it's always outside. And, uh, you know, if we get a lot of people out there, it's a, it's a great atmosphere for us to play in behind some noise. And, yeah, we don't get that too much, but it's, uh, it's pretty good when we do. We'll hopefully get a good win there. Why do you want fans to make the drive all the way up to Milford for your home ice game? It's going to be pretty exciting this year. It's, uh, we're one of definitely the best stables teams uh, on, in, in a really long time. So, I mean, it would be pretty cool if you guys came to watch us play. I mean, it's pretty exciting stuff. I then talked to Jesse Greenspun, one of the seniors on this team. Jesse Greenspun, center. As a senior, how do you prepare to lead this team possibly into the playoffs? I'm just working hard every day at practice, um, setting a good example, um, just having the younger kids look up to you. How does this year's team compare to teams of past years? We're definitely more experienced than last year. Um, we don't have any seniors who are really young, and uh, playing the playoffs last year definitely helped us to prepare for this year. 
Finally, I talked to goaltender Zach Bloom. Uh, Zach Bloom, goalie. Have you improved your game since being on the team as a freshman? Uh, I improved my game by working a lot with the goalie coach during practice and working hard, working hard during practice and doing a lot of extra off ice activity and extra goalie. Do you have any personal goals for yourself this year? My personal goal is more of a team goal, which is to win a state championship like everyone else wants. What is it like to play in the outdoor game as a goalie? Um, as a goalie playing in the outdoor game is a little hard to get used to with the um, with the ice being a little bit different, but after a while you get used to it and the outdoor environment itself is really fun to play with. Thanks, and now back to the host. Thanks, Jack. And be sure to support our hockey team by going to Longshore tonight at 6. But if you can't make it, you can always listen on WWPT 90.3 FM. The girls team also will be playing at Longshore this Friday at 5. You certainly know it well. From phys ed, wrestling, and indoor track to everyone's favorite, rec basketball. The Fieldhouse has been home to some great Staples athletic memories. But I bet there's one thing you didn't know about the facility. Colleen and Samuel have more. We went around Staples to ask people if they knew the name of the Staples Fieldhouse. What's the name of the Staples Fieldhouse? Wait, the Staples Fieldhouse. Steve Wojcicki Fieldhouse. The Fieldhouse. I don't know. <laughs> oh no no no! I do. Mystico. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> you got it. The Fieldhouse. As a name, like I don't like know the, the guy name. who like paid for it or something, which I do not know. No one knows that. Lou Nistico Athletic Center. What's the question? What's the name of the Staples Fieldhouse? Oh, shoot. The name of the Staples Fieldhouse. What's the name of the Staples Fieldhouse? Okay, I will have to guess. Um, the Wreckers? <laughs> um, Staples number one. How do you know that? <laughs> um, we rock. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to win all the games. <laughs> Thanks, Senora. <laughs> Anytime. Next, Wilson and Jacob took a look into the archives to find some of the record's top plays of 2015. Take a look. that student assembly will be selling stickers outside the cafeteria all this week during lunch. The National Honor Society is also running their annual can drive. Here's Alex and Grayson with more. Hi Staples, my name is Alex Apan. And I'm Grayson Levinson and we're here from the National Honor Society. This year in the holiday spirit we'll be hosting a can drive called Cans for Candlelight. 
and uh, it's going on this week. It started the 14th and it ends the 18th and we're collecting canned goods and non-perishable food items for the Gillespie Center. Um, you can go and drop the cans off in the donation boxes in the front of the school and by the auditorium. And if you can't drop them off during school, you can also come by to any candlelight performance and we'll be there collecting cans. Okay, thank you. Bye. On is back with another senior tip. Take a look. Shh. Senior tip of the week with mom. We spent the lot. This week's senior tip is to go to sports games, guys. Go there, support your school, and get rowdy, but still be respectful. Next, Connor and Ben are here with a student's perspective on the Heisman Trophy. With the Heisman Trophy celebrations wrapping up this weekend, we run around Staples asking about some Heisman trivia. Who was the first Alabama player to win the Heisman Trophy? Trent uh, Richardson, Archie Manning. Mark Ingram. Yeah. Which school has the most Heisman Trophy winners? Alabama? No. <laughs> no, it's Ohio State. Who was the last Heisman winner to get their trophy vacated? I think it was um, Riley Petta? Almost. Ben? Reggie Bush. Ah. Which Ohio State player won back-to-back -back Heisman trophies? Rick Shaw Ferguson. Not even close, Archie Griffin. All right, Oliver. Who won the Heisman Trophy in 1944? 1944? Yeah. Uh, Les, Les Horvath? Yes, that's correct. Congratulations, Oliver. The GOAT. <laughs> okay. All right, comrade. Did John Heisman ever win the Heisman? So you almost got me there. No. That's correct. Thanks to everyone who participated. Now back to the house. Cooper Boardman, WWPT commentator and founder of the social media platform SHS Sports, is here with another sports preview. This week, he's giving a preview of the Wreckers winter seasons. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Picture with it in the low corner. He'll look up top. Asparagus has got it. He'll let the three fly. Got it. And the record's back on top. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Staples with the rebound. They push it up court to Liv Troy. She drives in traffic. She says to the Grinch defender, allow me to have this dance. It's a new life. And I'm feeling good. As we look ahead to a great winter season, Ben and Connor look back on this year's football season. Hey guys, Chase Levy. I just want to thank you guys for coming out to every single game throughout the season. It really meant a lot to us. Hey guys, Sam Markiel here. Um, thanks for showing up to the games. You guys brought a lot of energy and helped us get a bunch of big wins this season. Thanks so much for everyone who came out to our games this year. You really made it a season to remember and we couldn't have done anything without you guys. Thanks. Thanks to all the fans and teachers that came out and supported us this year. You know, when we looked up during big games and saw a big crowd, it definitely hyped up the team and definitely helped us win a couple of big ones. So thanks. Thank you, fans, for uh, coming out and supporting us this year, making the atmosphere at home really electric. I'm looking forward to next year. On behalf of our Staples football team and our coaches, I want to thank everyone who made this year so fantastic, most especially our fans, uh, the Staples High students, our uh, our administration, principal, assistant principals, and everyone who came out and supported us. Thank you and go Wreckers.
will be finishing this semester's of our classes edition of Good Morning Staples with one final fully student produced show on January 6th with Aaron, Miley, and Mimi leading the way. I would like to take this time to wish a happy birthday to our own Connor Adrian and my mom. Happy birthday, Linda. Finally, we want you to meet the talented student producers that make the show possible. Can you recognize whose autograph is whose? Good morning, Staples. Yeah. 